Are any of you hurt? No, no, I'm not. Okay, so what... Okay, what I want you guys to do, if you want mine, just kind of stand tight here for a second. I get both your IDs and your insurance information, okay? Hello everyone and welcome back once again to 5M. Today we're going to be out in this little Crown Vic slick top. I was going through the vehicles we had. We just went through and cleaned up a lot of stuff on the server and made it run a little smoother. Um, so I was going through vehicles. I was going to drive a Silverado again because we got that converted to red and blues. Um, but I was looking at this. This Crown Vic has been out of commission for a while and we finally got it fixed. It has slick top and hard top versions. You can change up the light bars on the back and just add different variations to it. This Vic is really nice, so I was like, you know what? I decided to use it. I changed up the flash pattern, made it a little quicker. Here's what we got for the flash pattern on this. It's pretty nice. And there goes an Impala there. So I changed this up, made it look nice, so uh, we're going to drive this today. I forgot to start recording. Uh, my bad, I've already done two traffic stops, which would have been nice to have in the video, but you know what they say. But uh, hopefully we get something. So um, yeah, we'll see you when you get a call. Six, five, six. What? Really? No way. Oh, thank God, the officer. Please. Hey, what's going on? Hey, one second, sir. 10 4 10 19 2. One Delta One Control. I was on scene before the, as they wrecked. Um, you can go ahead and attach me to this. 10 4, you still need 6 5 0 6. 10 9. Do you still need 6 5 0 6? Affirmative. 10 yeah, 4. Alright, sorry about that. I was talking to the radio. What's going on, guys? What happened here? Down Joshua and uh, this gentleman here pulled out in front of me. Pulled out in front of you? Well, I mean, I didn't, I didn't mean to. I was like, it, 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 it all happened so fast. I was, uh, I mean, I took my eyes off of the road for like one second, and then, and then, bang. Okay, you guys need an ambulance? Are any of you hurt? Uh, no. No, no, I'm not. Okay. Like so what? Okay, what I want you guys to do, if you want mine, just kind of stand tight here for a second. If I can get both your IDs and your insurance information, okay? Absolutely. I right, appreciate that. I can go and get your ID too, sir. All right, Mr. Ross. Go. All right, Mr. Ross, Mr. Tim. You guys just sit tight for me. You got any weapons on anything I should know about? No, no. Okay, just keep your hands out of your pockets. Keep them where I can see them, okay? We're gonna have another officer come on scene and we'll go ahead and get the full story of what happened. So you said that uh the guy here, Mr. Ross, is you the one that pulled out in front of him? I was driving down Joshua and the gentleman Mr. Tim pulled out on into the old roadway. I mean it's it, like I, I didn't mean to. I was just it, it, I kept, I'm always on the lookout for aliens and, and then one Delta one and then bang, I, mean, I I he I looked, he wasn't there and then all of a sudden he was there. It Go was ahead. like he, he like, like. Can you confirm where you're at, sir? Like an alien. Force 3068, down, Joshua Road, just Crosser there. Route 68. Just uh, gonna be north of the gas station there. Okay, uh, Mr. Ross, come back over here for me. If I can get both of you guys to lean against this car for me, okay? Just lean against the car here. Alright, keep your hands where I can see them, okay? I'm gonna go run your name to make sure everything's good. Have you guys had anything to drink today? No, no. Sure. No? No drinks, no drugs, nothing like that? None, nothing. Okay, sit tight for me. Control 6, Bravo 6, 1023. 10 Hey, so apparently, um, apparently the guy in the white was driving down Joshua, and then the guy in the black pulled out right here in front of him, and uh, ended up, the guy in the white t-boned him, and kind of launched him down the side of the road here. 
I got both their IDs information. I'm gonna go ahead and run their names. Uh, you can do whatever you need to do with them now. I'm just gonna run their names, make sure things clean. All right. Did, did anybody is anybody need need a medical attention or do you already ask that? No, they're all good. They declined uh, an ambulance, so i will just I got their information, all their insurance, and everything. I'm gonna make sure things valid, and then I'll go from there. Sounds good. If you wouldn't mind, if you if you want to, you can probably run the plates. Sounds good. I'll get I'll get on that for you. Cool. All right. So we got a motor vehicle accident here. I was kind of crazy. He was calling in uh, six Bravo six to come out here, and I was rolling up and saw the accident. So I figured I'd go ahead and stay. So we got a uh, Tiberius Ross and a Jim Tim. Whoops. Tib Burris Ross. License status valid. Got a written warning on the 9th for speeding 63 and a 50. They don't ever put the street names. So that's good. That's good. Wait, did I write that? I did write that. I didn't put the street name. I'm a failure. Tib Burris Ross is clean. Jim Tim. Got a lot of gems. Yeah. Got an inactive warrant. You want to smoke? Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, man, I'd love one. Holy shit. This guy is... On the influence. He's got a DUI. He's got two DUIs. Thanks, man. Reckless endangerment. Hey, that, uh, wild. That, that Lincoln oh, over there, up. that plate is coming back to a... Bravado Buffalo Sport, not the Lincoln. Okay, we'll talk to him about it. Sounds good. It's a black hood to an elderly male driver who's going slowly and is all over the highway. He's heading southbound. All right, Mr. Uh, Mr. Tim and Mr. Yes. Ross. Mr. Ross, here's your ID back. Uh, Mr. Tim, which vehicle do you own? You do. You own this little Lincoln over here. Yes, yes, I do. Okay. All right. So Control. there's there's some issues coming back. Um, you you have an extensive history of reckless endangerment, DUI, um, assault on peace officers. So have you been? Have you had any drugs or alcohol today? Trail at the dam. I mean, I have my prescription meds that are in the glove box in the car. Okay. So what I'd like for you to do now, just follow me over here to this Tahoe. Okay. Okay. Okay, just because of your extensive history with, with um, DUIs, I'm going to have to do a civil sobriety test on you, okay, just to make sure you're good. And it seems as though, from what he's told me and what you've told me, you both have said that you pulled out in front of him. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do a field sobriety test, okay? Okay. Okay, so what I want you to do, so you see my finger? My finger uh, right sir, here? Has he yes. collected your so, insurance and stuff from you? I'm going to move this around, yes. left and right. Follow it with your eyes only. Sounds Don't move your head, okay? We'll be right back with you. Just hang out here for me. Okay, sir. So, what else I'm gonna do you? Have you do? Wow. Okay. So I'm gonna draw a line right here, okay? I'm gonna have you walk from this line, walk all the way to me, okay? So you see that line I just drew? Okay. Yes. And you need to walk left foot in front of right, right foot in front of left, straight as you can, walk to me, okay? And as you do it, count from one to ten. Okay. okay. When, when do I go? Whenever you're ready. Okay. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. All right, sir. Well, you passed all this here, so I don't have any suspicion of you being under the influence of anything, okay? But just with the extensive, his extensive history you've had with DUIs, I wanted to go ahead and just perform a filter body test, okay? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, so neither one of you were injured. 
and it seems as though you were at fault here and whether or not he wants to file charges against you it's up to him that's something you guys can can, can talk talk about here um, but one other thing is that the vehicle here your vehicle is coming back registered to a bravado buffalo is there any reason why that would that would be going on oh you know I just got I just got the new plates and I might have mixed them up on accident okay well, Cause um, I do have a, a black four-door Bravado Buffalo as well. Okay. Well, from what's going to happen now, your your vehicle is going to be towed, okay? Because it's not street worthy. Both your vehicles are going to be okay. towed, okay? Do you have anybody you can come get you? Do you mean call you a cab? I mean, I I could probably call an Uber X or something. Okay, go ahead and get you an Uber or something. Hey, hey Mr. Mr. Ross, go back to Sir? your vehicle. Sir. Six Bravo, six Bravo, six. If you wouldn't mind staying with him, so no you, problem, got him. you can probably let him know that he can get a ride or whatever. Okay, so if he can get All you, right, if so, he can get so you an Uber or something, okay. Do, um, okay. Your vehicle isn't roadworthy at this point, just because of the accident. Um, so it will be towed just because of the, it's not roadworthy. Do you have any one that can come get you today or no? Yes, yes, I'll have my driver pick me up. Okay, sounds good. Um, if you want to go ahead and get on the phone with him and see. Um, out of curiosity, are you are you wanting to uh, uh, press charges on him today, or what, what's the deal there? No, I don't think that will be, that will be needed. Okay, um, are you going to exchange insurance information, or did they already facilitate that? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll handle all that. Alright, sounds good. I mean, you can't really file charges, I wouldn't think. I mean, all I did was pull out in front of him. It was just a simple accident. But, nevertheless, it's whatever. Alright, so you got an Uber coming? Yep, I just called them there on the way. Alright, so uh, we'll wait here till they get here. Um, we're gonna, we already got tow, tow trucks coming. So, uh, okay. yeah. Anything else that I can do for you? Uh, i free to go. Is it possible to look, uh... Give me one second here. Wait, let me ask my sorry. more awesome with that hat that you're wearing? I'm sorry, what? Is it possible to look any more badass with that hat you're wearing? Because you look like a badass. Oh, I appreciate that. Lance, is this other gentleman, uh, free to go? Uh, yeah, he's, um, as long as he, you don't smell any THC or anything on his breath, um, he's good to go. He said he was just driving. Oh, yeah, obviously this guy's at fault here, so, um, he's good to go. Alright, uh, yeah. Alright, sounds good. I'm good to go. Yes, Wait. sir, you're free to go. Uh, Have so a good one. Perfect. You can pick up your vehicles you at the uh, Sandy Shores in Police Impound Lot. Um, but actually, it won't be at the impound lot. Sorry, we're not impounding it. It's being towed. Uh, whatever tow company comes and picks it up, you can give them a call and uh, you can pick it up from wherever it gets towed to, okay? Oh, okay. Alright. I hope you have a better Thank day, you okay? So much. I'll I'll try to. Control six five three. Show me ten eight. Half boss. Six Bravo Six, is that you behind me? One Delta One to Six Bravo Six. Go ahead. Is this you in the Tahoe? Nine hey, Romeo Four Two Bravo Ten Four. You can go ahead and take uh, the primary. There's an armored vehicle. Sir, right go ahead now, and pull up to the gas station. You. Unit stand by. Need one unit stuck at one. What do we have? One Romeo Four will be. Stop a black armor vehicle when we're on northbound. Call me. Tampa Postal? Uh, stand by. Had to catch up to it. 1 Delta 1, 1036. 1 Delta 1, go ahead. Myself and 6 Bravo 6 are going to be facing, we're going to be facing southbound on Panorama Drive with a, looks like to be a 
police looking vehicle. We're going to be 3091 Panorama Drive. Begin with a black Crown Vic. Sir, my and name's uh, Deputy Grazier with the uh, San, San, or Los Santos Robert County here. Sheriff's Office. New ice up tonight? I'm away, it's back, but I'm on my way. Well, so here, here's the National issue. Uh, that, that kind of, that weird uh, like U-turn you, turn you made out of the station, and then the fact that you were going like 45 in that in that what neighborhood, that? That, on that neighborhood oh, road, that's a 35 mile an hour zone. So... You also uh, ran that stop sign on Panorama. Oh, I didn't see that part. I was trying to get him, get him, catch up to him for the speeding and the the weird U-turn he made. Yeah, back there on Joshua and Panorama, he ran a stop sign. Oh wow, nice. Um, do you have your license and registration and proof of insurance? Can I see that, please? Joshua, CBU, Quebec. Ten four. Why is my guy walking like this? That was weird. What's up? Uh, Alright, Mr. Blitz, hang out. Hang out here and I'll be right back for you. What's up? So, you know, I don't know this guy. I was going to try to stop him, but he, uh, he walked in our station um, and went to the files but uh, uh, negative, I I was dealing with someone at the time so um, but yeah that's about the only information four. I know it's not a lot but I thought I'd stop and let you know alright you know, appreciate it really fast for, uh, This license plate, see what we got. Uh, I'm at East Joshua. Bail, and, it's uh, not coming back to anything. Bail, you nothing. Hey, his uh, license plate's coming back, not registered. And then he's, he's coming back with a registered concealed carry, and he didn't tell me about that. I'm kind of a little upset about that, too. But, um, it all depends if on... Talk to him if you want to take passenger. Yeah, it all depends on if he actually has the weapon on him or not. True. Alright, sir. Uh, here's your, here's your license back. Um, we have, we have some issues that we need to talk about really fast. Um, first issue, major, uh, major issue is gonna be, do you have your concealed carry on you today, your, your firearm? Do I have a concealed carry? No, I, I have, uh, my work issued, uh, weapon in my open holster here. Okay, um... So that's that, that's my first problem is that you're armed and you fail to tell me that you are armed. That's that's the first issue here. The second issue is that your plate's not. we're gonna be code four one detained. The second issue is that your plate's not coming back registered in our, in our system. Well, I I apologize. I'd had a, a number of I've worked with a lot of uh, sheriff's deputies around here and. I figured they knew that all of the bail agents in the area were armed. Yeah, it's just one of those things, whether you think that we uh, know, whether you think we know that you're armed or not, the best thing to do is always just tell us. So, it's some, oh, ignore that, sorry, disregard that. <laughs> um, the best, the best policy is always just to tell us. Um, but let's talk about your plate for a second. What, what's up with the plate? Why isn't it coming back registered? That's very strange. Uh, it's a company vehicle. Uh, I can make a phone call. I'm not really sure. We're uh, yeah, go ahead time. and hop on the hop on the phone with your boss really fast and see what's going on. See if we can get it get it fixed uh, figured out here, um, and we'll go from there. 
Hey, Lance, if you want to stay with him, I'm going to start doing some paperwork really fast. Alright. That skin, though. Break them out, bail bonds. It's something that they just threw together and was... said, fuck it. Everyone's driving that Tahoe. Alright, alright, I called my boss, uh, nobody fucking tells me anything, so apparently the new tag, the temp, uh, or sorry, the new tag for this vehicle is in the glove box and wasn't applied to the vehicle before I took it this morning when my shift started. Okay, well if you would just reach in with your right hand into the glove box and pull that out and show it to me, we'll get that going and, and, uh, we'll get that taken care of. This is it here. Okay. Uh, just keep your hands on the steering wheel for me. I'll go back and just verify this for okay. Alright. Since, uh, <clears throat> I guess he just probably forgot to register his vehicle. Which is fine. That happens. I've done that many times as a Civ. So, I'm just gonna go in here and just type... Sorry about that. My dog decided to go crazy. So type in chat and verify this. Okay, plate's valid, so that's good on that end. I'll go ahead and let the other deputy know about that. Hey, what's up? So he handed me a... He called his boss. Boss, I don't even know that. His plate that he's supposed to be using on the vehicle is a temporary plate, but they put it in the glove box. So he showed that to me. I called it in, and it's all, it's all valid, so the vehicle's valid. Alright, so the vehicle's valid, so I think I'm gonna cut him... I'm I'm gonna cut him two brakes out of the three infractions he has. I'm gonna cut him two brakes. I'm gonna cut him a break for the stop sign. I'm gonna cut him a break for the U-turn, but I'm gonna hit him with the speeding. Um, just because the fire station's right there, the hospital's right there, everything right there is on that block, and yeah. that's the one of those blocks I'm not. I have no negotiation on just because yeah. all those important things that are there. So yeah, I got you. Um, I think since registration came back, I'm just gonna hit him with speeding. Okay. Well, since he's being cooperative and everything, I'm just gonna go ahead and break off. Sounds good to me. Alright, have a good one. Thanks for the cover. I'm Delta 1 Control. Good. You should wait 10 8 off that traffic stop on Panorama. Alright, Mr. Blitz, here's uh here's what's gonna happen for you, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut you out of the three infractions I have you done today. I want to thank you guys for coming and joining me on this episode in 5M in the LSDPS server. If you guys want to join our community, we're always taking applications. I'll leave a link below where you can go to do that. Uh, you look over the website, we have pictures of our cars and fleets and videos and stuff you can watch. And, um, yeah, I'll just let your friends know, let your family know, let everybody you know that they can come and apply. We're taking applications for all departments. Uh, we, we don't do... People always ask this question, I want to go ahead and clear it up now. We don't split up departments so you don't apply for sheriff and do just sheriff. You don't apply for LSPD and just LSPD. We're in, in the police, we split up patrols, and we do, you know, county one patrol and city the next. And everyone does, you know, whatever we're doing. So if we're doing county, everyone's doing county. If we're doing... LSPD, everyone's doing LSPD, and we do have highway, but it will be something that you'd have to rank up to be able to be eligible to train for. So highway and then MCU, which is the major crimes unit, is something that you would have to rank up and be able to be eligible for. But like I said, thank you guys for joining me on this episode, and we'll see you next video.